This week on Three Scenes, Two Mashals, and One Beer. You're going to remember for the rest of your life. Yes, it is. American Wedding. Hey, Finch, you want this for here to go? My hero, Stifler. Holy fucking shit, this is major. And ball shaving, taking the new heights. Oh, Jimmy, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, we have an IPA out of Illinois. Stick around, fuckers. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. I shaved my balls for this? You shaved your balls? Absolutely. But we'll discuss later. So what do you say, jackass? Oh, fuck you, you cum bubbler. That's mean-spirited. Yeah, you're nice, fuckface. That's a good segue, John. Since Stifler uses the word fuckface as a term of endearment. Oh, maybe you can take like a, a mental note. You know, you're smarter than you look. Thanks. That's, uh, that's pretty good there, you silly-looking fuck. You're on a roll. Kind of like the roll reversal in uh, American Wedding. Before we hit our uh, stride, Tommy, uh, since we're on a roll, how about our beer? Oh, yeah. Uh, the Stahl Brewery, I think that's how you say it, from Normal, Illinois. It's Illinois, Tom. That's annoying. It's spelled... Sorry, people. The education system's failed, Tommy. Anyway, Vertex IPA. It's 6.3% yummy IPA. I don't get what's normal about Illinois, though. Tommy, forget it. What's your rating? Well, normally, I'd give a normal IPA rating of normally 3.5 to 4.5. Seriously? As much ball busting as I'm doing, though. I'm going with a 5, since I hit my normal drinking bender with it the other night. You done? What? I think that's pretty normal. Good grief. So I really liked your IPA. Also, it was crisp, hoppy, citrusy, just like it says on the can. Good stuff. I'm also going five. Not to be outdone by my abnormal friend over here. I, I see what you did there. Great observation, Illinois boy. Okay, so we started this whole series thing with the classic American Pie. Jim Shenanigans move a bunch of these movies along, and somehow he found multiple girls willing to let him stick his dick in them. But in the end, his choice became clear. It was the freak from band camp. Oh, and this one time at band camp, I stuck a flute in my pussy. Over the freak from whatever fucking country she was in. Yeah. He decides to ask for her hand in marriage. This is some ring. Look at the rock on this baby. Hope you didn't blow your wad on this, son. Not yet. Because you can't let a freak like that go. So wh where are you going? So? She's a nympho, and I think I love her. Calm down, hormone boy. Not my fault. It's little Tommy. Does all the thinking in these situations. I'm not ever sure how I get shit done. Yeah, me neither. Anyway, scene one. We have Bizarro, Stifler, and Shipwreck. Finger up both their asses oh. while you're down there. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, hey, um, Finch. Rudeness and obscenity won't change anything. One of these days, I want to see you act like the nice Stifler. Okay, you keep fighting the good fight, sir. But he isn't being nice. He just wants to fuck the blonde. <laughs> so it wouldn't be a stretch, but you'd have to be on your best behavior to do it. If she's hot like that, babe, I'd do it. But I'd probably be doing this a ton. Suck my dick, Ron Jeremy. I can see it ending disastrous like this. It's gonna be like, you like this shit, mama? And she's gonna be like, Fucking right, doggy, give it to me. Suck on my nipples like you're, like you're milking a cow. Like, you been here long? Stifler's my hero. <laughs> yeah, that's why you be done. Except Stifler redeems himself. Yeah, probably past my character, Zark. And let's be honest, he went above and fucking beyond as Bizarro Stifler in our next scene. Relax. I let it go. He was so into wanting to get into her pants. You fed the ring to the dogs, didn't you? Fucks up the fucking ring deal, and the dog eats it. <gasps> he craps the shit. Ooh, yummy. Where did you get that? In an effort not to let your parents eat dog poop. Oh. <gasps> Steven, that is so oh selfish. Mm, good. <laughs> oh, he fucking gross. Oh my god. Tastes like twigs and berries. Ew, it's got, that is fucking gross. Fuck that. I jerk off, think about her, before I eat shit. Yet you shit in your hands while in a drunken fight at the zoo with monkeys. That was A, to establish dominance. And two, I was beyond shitty face. 
That was for his friend also. I mean, he lost an expensive ring. I'm not saying follow that rat dog around to get the ring back was wrong. I'm saying don't eat the shit. Why you would have let the girl's mom eat it. Oh, well, you got the ring. Either say, listen, bitch, your dog ate the ring, or let her eat the shit, and say the truffles went bad. You are stiffler, but worse. You got to know when to stop, don't you? You really do, but it's hard. It's really hard. I'm not eating rat dog crap for pussy. Period. Okay, next scene. Jim being Jim. This dude is a walking clusterfuck. I've saved my balls before. Really? Sure. I'm not a savage. I want the ladies to see a well-groomed little Tommy. And his friends in all their glory. Uh, okay, gross, thanks. Smooth. But anyway, poor Jim just doesn't pay attention to his surroundings. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Harry Cake. I do have something to say in defense of Jim. Of course you do. One time, I was getting ready for a blind date. Had no idea what I was walking into. But hey, she was alive. And in the days of she-men, girl, goat, alien, wildebeest, it was a fucking female. So two kits, a hole in a hoppy, like Dice used to say. God bless Dice. So I did everything right. Shaved the balls, the shaft, the whole nine yards. I cleaned up, packed the man fur into the trash can. It was pretty full, and I should have brought it outside immediately. But I was bare ass and smooth as a baby. In the ball nether regions. I need another drink. So rushing to get ready, I just closed the trash can lid. But it was like an overstuffed suitcase. It was a loaded gun ready to fire. Oh no. Kit came over. She was way out of my league. But my humor somewhat had her laughing. I could sense there wasn't an overall fucking disgust on her part toward me. You sure she wasn't uh, released from the crazy clinic? Probably. But like I said, I had a chance to bang her brains out. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers. Damn right. So we're a few drinks in and getting into it, doing weird shit with honey. Okay, I don't I don't need to know all the details. Some details are needed. So she wanted to squirt me with the honey because she loved licking it off everywhere. And the fact I shaved made her even hotter. She hated pubic hair. In my excitement, I grabbed the bottle and squirt her all over. Well, it got in her eyes. So she grabbed a paper towel and cleaned her eye out and went to throw it away. Oh no. Oh no, it's right. I remember the thing was overloaded. And since we were getting hot and heavy, I had the fan on high. Oh, Tommy. For once, I feel bad for you. She opened that trash can. It was like one of them fucking New Year's poppers. But dark black Tommy nut hair. She looked like the bearded lady with a hair sweater. Uh, I'm assuming you didn't blow your love yoga out of there, buddy. I cranked it out before she left in disgust. So still counts. Not a restraining order? Not sure yet. But I figured uh, contacting her for another date was out. Okay, ratings? Sure. I love the American Pie series. And this one was also great. A little more touchy-feely type. But otherwise, right on with the others. I'm going 3.5. You know me. I like the sentimental stuff. <laughs> You're a chick. <laughs> I just have a heart. So I'm going to give this 5 out of 5. In the end, all of them were there for each other. Happy ending. I should lower mine just because of your review. But I won't. Okay. So you rambled for for a bit. So we done? Yeah, I gotta go shave my balls. You're getting fucking itchy. Soap and water helps also. You're right. My weekly wash was yesterday. So anyway, later fuckfaces. See you later.